So I saw this online a few days ago. I love little tips online that you can try and... I, I saw a, a, a short form version of this tip. And I saw it for two seconds. I've not looked at long form. And I'm sure people will comment on this knowing exactly what it is. But decided while I'm on the golf course just now, let's just give it a try. Let me try and interpret what's going on. Because when I coach, I have a lot of people. We have track man on and we work heavily on path. We work heavily on path. What's going on with the path? But then when it comes to the club face, how the... Are you supposed to square that club face up once you've changed the path? So I get a lot of people who change the path from out to in because they slice the ball predominantly so they swing across the ball to the left so they're in a great position they come down and they're out to in cutting across with an open face and then I work on it with them to try and okay let's change the path and I've got great drills that gets the path to change in to out then the face closes too much and the face closes too much as a byproduct to the path having moved so the path moved from there to there then of course the face closes too much because the body's thinking oh my word i'm now swinging the ball the club out in this direction out towards the golf ball three-dimensional impact downwards forwards and the club goes outwards but then of course they try and save it with the hands and that closes the face over this is technical it's not really that technical but do you know where the technical stuff's going to go let me tell you if it's not there already you'll see it very shortly when you go into my youtube channel there'll be a subscribe button next to that's a join button that's the steve johnson golf club membership that is, that will allow me, YouTube have now given me permission to create a membership within the channel. So if you become a member of the channel, you will get perks. You will get emojis, you'll get badges and things that can go with your comments. But on top of that, that gives me a platform to talk about more in-depth stuff, more personal stuff from your guys' requests, which as a member of the SJ Golf Club, you can request content from me. And that content can be anything. It can be as high-tech as possible. When I put a high-tech video up about pressure points, power accumulators, for example, within the golf swing, mega high-tech. The YouTube algorithm doesn't like that. It doesn't share it around YouTube because it's not generic. People aren't searching for that. So those videos are, are way down here in the pecking order, but the content's amazing. Now on the membership side of things at Steve Johnson Golf Club, the membership of the channel, I can now go on and give out that information without affecting the stats on my YouTube channel or the algorithm. Brilliant, a great outlet for that. And for guys who've subscribed already, you subscribers, there's no change, it's business as usual. The membership is just an add-on, it's up to you whether you want to take it or not. I'll reply to every comment within the membership side of things, so there'll be more interaction and also as I say, you can suggest what videos you want me to do and I will create videos for you. If you are an individual who's having this problem today, who's moved path from out to in, to in to out, but now the face is too closed, so you're now in to out with a face that's closing too much, and you duck, and you now duck hook that ball left, you can comment on the member's side, because I know you're a member, you can comment on there and say, Steve, here's what's happening, can you create a video to help me? Yes, let's do that. And then they'll all the membership benefit from that. The content will be more raw. They'll be behind the scenes. You'll get to know me better. The join button that's next to the subscribe button, it's worth a click. So the video I saw this week, holding the face open from a, an out to in path to the opposite, to closing the face over from an in to out path was all about the lead elbow. Now, if you think about what happens with the lead elbow, as you hit a golf shot, if I'm hitting towards camera there and I've got the back of my lead elbow Assuming I've got a good grip on the golf club, the back of my lead elbow towards camera, the face is going to be pretty square. If my elbow turns behind, the face is going to close and vice versa. Now, a lot of people address the ball in the wrong way. The forearm is too, the lead forearm is too rotated, then the grip's back on. Now this trail elbow is pointing more towards the hip. That's not specific for everyone. Hogan talks about that as well. But for the, this case, when the person's changed path so dramatically, let's change the forearm position at address. So if you move the forearm round, it's hard to, without getting high elbow or high shoulder, sorry, to move the arm round. So what has to happen at address, take your address position there, move the elbow round manually with your other hand and then reverse the hand. So now this elbow's in place, manually pull it round Return the hand, it's in place, pull it round, into place, turn the hand, take the grip on the golf club. There, now that lead elbow points more towards target. Of course, club face will marry up. So now that lead elbow points more towards target, and of course from there, club face will marry up. 
so it feels a little bit wooden to begin with but of course we've changed the path so things are going to feel strange anyway but much easier to focus on the lead elbow through impact rather than the club face so I can control lead elbow I can therefore control club face I know what you're thinking though oh I'm going to get a chicken wing with this you won't get a chicken wing with this because the impact factors that track man measure are one inch through impact that golf ball is 1.6 inches in diameter we're only going one inch okay so I have to maybe chicken wing for one extra inch that's how it's going to feel Jordan Spieth's happy with that and Lee Westwood's happy with that so so am I take my normal address position there okay like my trail elbow is not my lead elbow is now pointing down this way so I need to bring it over if I put my hand on the club and, and grip it then bring the elbow up effectively I've done the same thing with the hand by moving it back so we're gripping the club first that's an option there now apply the grip pressure excellent then from there much more structured but the body still turns the same path in to out face square to path I've just hit two absolute bullets <laughs> that was two very efficient golf shots path into out face square or not as close not close to target line so I'm going to place my hand on good turn my arm and then take my grip apply the pressure on the grip great and from there we have lead elbow controls club face look how straight it is <laughs> so it was Bryson DeChambeau talking about this you can picture Bryson in this position big Bryson good friend of the channel <laughs> he's a member there turn or turn hand back so turn hand back there I'm good I'm only focusing on lead elbow because that's controlling my club face I'm there good again squatted that a little bit to the right so that's a good thing though so it was a straight right so the path was into out and the face was square to the path there we go oh it's lovely lovely I actually don't think the last one the previous one to that one was a face square to a path I think I was just aiming out there I'm scared this camera blows over stay there okay on that telegraph pole now I need to get used to there and back without holding it there I can do that I'm good I'm good I'm club face controls pure because of lead elbow there we go absolutely brilliant little draw wins off the right love it